It's great to have you on the show. So why don't you explain to us how you would convince a hard-headed atheist that there is a God and that this God is your God? There are many scientific miracles in the Quran that could not have been explained. Muhammad knew things that could not have been known at the time, like how the sky is actually held up by mountains. That's why the sky does not fall on us, and how camopis is good for your ailments. And did you know that the sun sits in the pool of muddy water? Well, Muhammad knew this 1400 years ago. So what have you got to say about that? <laughs> Uh, thank you, Doctor. That was very... Mm, interesting. So tell us, um, we're always hearing that Islam is the religion of peace, but... What about 9-11 and the 777 Remember the bombings and the Madrid oh, bombings they stopped. and the Bali Remember the bombings crusades. The crusades. and take a look at Sudan Remember and Darfur? The you cannot blame us for 9-11. It was an inside job by the Jews who just happened to be Saudi Arabian. And remember, Jews are the ones who are willing to commit suicide just to take other people down with them. Muslims never do this. And you always seem to forget the Crusades. You cannot blame us for any of the atrocities being done around the world today. Not now and not ever because of the Crusades. The Crusades! The Crusades! Okay, okay, we get it. The Crusades. Let me just ask you something though. Um, there's a lot of people who seem to think that Islam is just for the Arabs. Uh, what do you have to say about that? It is our duty as Muslims to spread Islam to the whole world. So that should answer your question. Islam is not just for the Arabs but for all the people in the world. I myself am an Indian and I am a Muslim. Thank you for clearing that up, but if Islam is to spread all over the world, how come it can't even stand up to criticism? You cannot criticize Islam! It is racist! Um... okay... I understand that part of taking over the world means spreading Sharia law to every nation, which means women could get beaten and raped for not covering up. Yes, but you must understand, rape is very rare in Muslim countries, and that is not just because husbands are allowed to rape their wives, or because women risk being stoned to death for reporting rape, but it is because Muslim women do not show their hair like you filthy Americans do. If a woman does not cover up, then she is telling the man, it is okay to rape her, and that's all we can think about. We are just animals after all. Thank you, doctor. But please tell us, why is it that Islam is the only religion that can't seem to be translated into English? If we find any inconsistencies in your book, uh, any errors whatsoever, you tell us that we have to read the original Arabic, but obviously most of us don't know Arabic, even most Muslims don't know Arabic. Islam is for everybody, but Arabic is the only language that Allah speaks, and that is why we only pray to Him in Arabic. It is an insult to pray to Him in any other language, because Allah cannot understand you. And no, you cannot criticize the English translation of the Quran, even though we Muslims criticize the English translation of the Bible. But that is besides the point. Islam is for everyone. Wow, so doctor, um, are there any final statements you'd like to make to our audience about why Islam is the truth? Yes, we know that the Quran is the truth because Muhammad said that the Quran is the truth. And we know that Muhammad is the truth because Allah said that Muhammad is the truth. And we know that Allah is the truth because the Quran says that Allah is the truth. So I invite you all to convert to the truth of Islam today.